Hi, fourth graders, we're back, and we're going to talk about division again. And this time, we're going to talk about when um, we, we we need a zero in our answer somewhere. And in, in this case, at the end. All right. So let's see what happens when that when we have that. All right. So I've got a division problem here. Two or one hundred and forty-one divided by two. Okay, so if you remember when we do long division, we look and we look at that first one. And we here's our steps. Remember, we divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Okay, so we start with dividing. Will 2 go into 1? You're right, it doesn't. So we need a 0. And we're going to put that 0 right above that 1. Because that's what we're talking about, 2 not dividing into. So now we pull another number. Does 2 go into 14? Well, yes, it does. It goes in 7 times. So I divide it. Now I multiply. 7 times 2, 14. Now I subtract. I get 0, and I bring down because I still have a number left. So now I'm back to divide. Does 2 go into 1? No, it doesn't. So I put a 0 above that 1 because that's what we're talking about. 0 times 2, 0. I do my subtracting, I get 1. I have nothing left to bring down. So what do I do with this 1? You're right, it's a remainder. I put an R1 up there, remainder 1. Okay? All right. Before we finish, I'm going to show you how to check these problems, okay? But let's keep going, and I will show you on the last one how to check a division problem. Okay, so here we are, 404 divided by 5. Okay, will 5 go into 4? No, so we put a 0 right above that 4, and we pull another number in. Will 5 go into 40? Yes, 8 times. 5 times 8, 40. We subtract, we get 0, we bring down our 4. Will 5 go into 4? No, so we put a 0 right above that. 0 times 5, 0, subtract, nothing else to bring down. So what do we do with this number? You're right, we have to bring it up here. We put remainder 4. Okay, let's try a couple more, and then I'll show you how you can check your answers to make sure they're right. Okay? All right, does 3 go into 1? Nope, there goes my 0. And I like to put that zero because it helps me remember what numbers I've used. Okay? Three times zero. Oh, we don't need to do that yet. Let's pull another number in. Three go into 12? Yes, four times. Three times four? Twelve. Subtract. Zero. Bring down. How many times does three go into one? You got it. Zero times. Zero times three? 0, subtract 1. What do I do with that because I'm out of numbers? Remainder 1. Okay, one more, and then I'm going to show you how to check your answers for when you have remainders. Okay, does 4 go into 3? No, it doesn't. Does 4 go into 36? Achoo, excuse me. Achoo. My allergies. Two. Yes, 4 goes into 36 nine times. 4 times 9? 36. We subtract. We get 0. We bring down. Does 4 go into 3? No, it doesn't. So I put my 0 above that because that's that last number I'm using right now. 4 times 0? Zero. 0. I subtract. A remainder of 3. So let's just check this problem. Okay, now I've showed you guys before how to check a division problem. Okay, we can check a division problem by multiplying the answer times the divisor. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Don't worry about your remainder yet. Multiply your divisor and your quotient. My answer times my divisor. 4, plus, four times 0. 4 times 9. Okay, now I still have this remainder to deal with. And what we do with the remainder is we add it to that. So if I add that 3 remainder, I get 363. Is that my dividend? 
Yes, it is, 363. So if you need to check to see if you did it right, we can take the divisor times the answer and then add the remainder. Okay, fourth graders, we will see you tomorrow.